And when we're looking at the area of a parallelogram, what we need to bear in mind is that a parallelogram is a rectangle that's been pushed over to one side. So if I start with my rectangle, we know that the area of a rectangle is the base times the height, and that gives us the area. If I now turn the rectangle into a parallelogram, basically push the shape over, and all I've done is push the shape over, and I've ended up with a parallelogram. And so this bit of the shape here fits into this part of the shape. Effectively, I push the bottom of the shape back again and I get back to my rectangle. So we can use the fact that it's a rectangle pushed over to remember our formula for the area. We need the base and we need the perpendicular height. So the area of a parallelogram equals the base times the height. But it must be the perpendicular height straight up from the base, 90 degrees from the base, rather than the sloping height. And we need to bear in mind that we've remembered it's coming from a rectangle in order us to remember that. So if I have a parallelogram base 5 centimetres vertical height 3 centimetres and the area equals base times height base 5 centimetres height 3 centimetres so the area of my parallelogram is 15 centimetres times centimetres centimetres squared.